It can be challenging to integrate citations seamlessly into your writing. This short video will show you how to weave citations into your paper so that your writing is clear and fluid. To find out more about how to format specific citation styles, check out the other videos in this series. You don't need to cite general knowledge, but you do need to cite your sources when you are directly quoting, summarizing, or paraphrasing a source. Let's look at each of these situations. Summaries condense the most important information from a source in a concise manner. A summary is an overview and does not include much detail. You might summarize the main points or plot of a book or paper. For example, James Nestor argues in his book, Breath, The New Science of a Lost Art, that though breathing is one of the most important things we do for our health and well-being, modern humans have lost the knowledge of correct breathing. A direct quotation uses the exact words from another source word for word. Quotation marks are used so the reader knows what is taken from another source. When should you use a direct quote? Here are some examples. When an author's exact words are important to emphasize. When you are agreeing or disagreeing with specific words that need to be highlighted. When the original exactly captures what you want to convey to your audience. Always introduce your quote and explain why you are including it. If you do not introduce and explain your quote, you have dropped the quote into your paper. This can be confusing and jarring to the reader. Here's an example of a dropped quote. There are few books about the history of women in the Chicano movement. Women of color, political subjectivities have gone largely unhistoricized because they often occur between various distinct social movements. There is little to no context about this particular quote. It is not introduced, so we do not know why it is important. Here is a better example of how to introduce and explain the same quote. Miley Blackwell argues in her book, Chicana Power, Contested Histories of Feminism in the Chicana Movement, that one reason there are few histories of women in the Chicana Movement is because women of color political subjectivities have gone largely unhistoricized because they often occur between various and distinct social movements. With this sentence, we know the who, what, and why of the quote. Paraphrasing explains in your own words the original source material. Unlike a summary, a paraphrase retains some of the detail of the original source and does not considerably condense the ideas of the original work. For example, here are two sentences from an original resource which I want to paraphrase in a paper about Chinese railroad workers in the 19th century. An estimated one quarter of the population of just one of these counties, Taishan, or about 200,000 residents, left their homes in the 19th century for destinations overseas. Almost all of those who came to the United States from China in the 19th century hailed from Guangdong. I want to share this information in my paper in a way that will make better sense for my audience. Here is a paraphrase. The majority of Chinese railroad workers who immigrated to the United States in the 19th century came from the southern province of Guangdong, where, for instance, 200,000, or approximately one quarter of the residents, left just one of the many counties that make up the province. I have put into my own words the parts of the original that are important to my paper. This way, I can choose what information I need to share in the best way for my audience. Here are some general tips that you will want to use when introducing citations into your paper. Vary when you quote, summarize, or paraphrase by carefully considering the best methods for each situation. Vary your sentence structure. You don't want to be repetitive or cite things in exactly the same way every time. Always ask, what is the significance of the citation? Have I introduced and explained its significance to the reader? Vary how you introduce authors and citations. There are many words and phrases you can use, such as the author argues, suggests, states, writes, notes, observes, concludes, etc. Or try according to, you get the idea. If you need further help integrating citations into your paper, contact CAS or the library.